there welcome to live with the paper pixie we are episode 205 i'm julie dimadio from the paperpixie.com i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator in the u.s and welcome for about the next 30 to 45 minutes or show or so i'm going to demonstrate two projects from start to finish with you and as you're rolling on in say hello and where you're watching from let me say hi to a few of you hi myrtle thank you Hi, Andrea, Karen, Stella, Wanda, welcome. Hi, Pam, Cheryl, Ethel, Maria. Hi, Nancy Lee. Oh, you guys are awesome. The shares are arriving. That's I'm super pleased with USPS this time around. They got um, the packages out in a very quick manner, which is awesome. Hi, Cindy, Fiona, Patty. Hey, hey, Norleen. Hi, Sherry, Mary. I love it. You guys are awesome. So tonight is my husband Brian's and our in my anniversary. It's our 14th anniversary. I've got a picture for you if if we're not connected on Facebook. Let's see. Where am I going here? Um, so we've been married for 14 years. This was us on our wedding day. We got married in Cleveland, Ohio, which is my hometown. Well, my hometown is Chagrin Falls, Ohio, but we got married in downtown Cleveland at the Hyatt Regency, the old arcade. So we love being here with you tonight. It's just a normal night here for us. We're going to celebrate this weekend. And what do we have? We had short ribs and mac and cheese for dinner tonight. I told you he's a really good cook, so I got very lucky. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. We're going to be doing two Halloween projects tonight. We are in the midst of the new mini catalog, the July to December 2021 mini catalog, as well as the first of two months of celebration. Celebration is my favorite time of year and we get it twice this year. So normally it is, well, they've changed the timing a little bit, but normally it was January through March. Now they did January through February and again, August and September. I think the normal timing will be July and August, but with a lot of supply chain things going on and how COVID is affecting a lot of that, they pushed it back a month so that we would have products in hand. And what's great about celebration is you get to earn free things for purchases of $50 or $100 or increments of there thereabout. There are stamps, there's beautiful papers, absolutely love it. So let me do a couple of housekeeping things. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like complimentary copies of our current catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at the paperpixie.com slash happy mail. My host code for the month of August is TGUZQV3H. Please use that host code on any order under $150. Orders of $150 or more don't apply the host code because you will earn stamp and rewards at that level. And if you purchase $50 or more with me, including whether you use the host code or not, um, you will get to your choice of a free gift. So the gold shimmer ribbon, the decorative matte dots, or two packs of Stampin' Dimensionals. So that's the scoop there. And let's see. There are three ways to earn during celebration. So as I mentioned before, $50 purchases or $100 purchases. <clears throat> We've got multiple choices for those levels. I want to say there's eight choices for $50 purchases and two choices for a hundred. If you want to shop big orders of $300 or more, there is an exclusive host stamp set for that called in your words. And it is a series of sentiments that were pulled together by demonstrators from all over the world. And then the best deal of the bunch is the starter kit during celebration. In addition to the $125 in product for 99, you also get to choose a free bundle there's 12 different bundles you can choose from one of them is sixty dollars and 25 cents so that means you can get what is that hundred and eighty five dollars and 25 cents in product for only 99. i've said it before joining the stampin up family has been one of the best decisions i've ever made and there's so many perks that come along with it whether that be the discount the uh pre-order the community, the resources available. So I would love to have you join my team of Paper Pixies. I will be doing an opportunity night here in a little bit to tell you all about it and answer your questions and walk you through the starter kit screens as I love to do. So I would love to welcome you to my team and, and home to the Stampin' Up! family. So 
Let's go ahead and jump in. They've changed the screen on me here in StreamYard, so I wanna make sure that I am doing everything I'm supposed to do here. I've got the giveaway tool running. We will be doing Prize Patrol at the end, so stay tuned for that. Those are just gonna be those of you that are participating live. Let me go ahead and flip the camera here. Turn on my picture in picture. There we go, my coloring's a little bit off tonight, but what's new <laughs> so all right we are going to be focusing on the cute halloween stamp set i love this in, or the cute halloween suite i should say i love this suite stampin up always knocks it out of the park with their halloween products but i feel like this go around lots of really cute things to choose from so the entire suite collection is a great price it's 67 dollars and 50 cents not only will you get a free gift from me for purchasing that suite but you'll also get to choose a celebration item and i've got that celebration brochure here just to show you a couple of fun things we've got some fun sparkly bedazzling paper uh, lots of different 12 by 12 patterns this pattern is beautiful because you can um, put ink to it with whether that be stamp and write markers or stamp and blends or blending brushes all kinds of good stuff so something for everyone in here and let me share what comes in this suite you've got a punch bundle which i love punch bundles because i love quick and easy and it's the halloween punch with the cutest halloween stamp set we're going to be using both of those tonight there's also a really cute tombstone treat boxes cute stars adhesive back sequins this awesome gingham uh, black and white gingham ribbon it's a quarter of an inch wide and this paper is six by six we're going to be doing a 3d project tonight using a six by six so those of you that participated in my product shares this will be a fun idea you don't have to use the halloween paper although you did get some extra halloween paper you got 16 sheets of that in my product share because they actually had some it was less patterns but more of them so this would be a great project tonight for that and i think that's it the colors in this flirty flamingo pumpkin pie old olive highland heather and basic black i love when stampin up comes up with awesome color combos for halloween so we are going to do a quick and easy treat box now this may seem familiar i have done a box like this before i actually think it was may of 2020 when i was looking at my blog but i want to give credit to um, there were two demonstrators that inspired my box in 2020 and that was katya Hamann and brigitte keiling both german demonstrators and then we're going to do a really quick and easy card that goes with it I love quick and easy because then there's no excuses, right? But this would be fun to send to kids, your grandkids for Halloween. Hey, boo, have a fabulous Halloween. I love that. So we're going to do that tonight. It's not going to be quite an hour tonight because we're celebrating our anniversary. So we'll wrap it up fairly quickly. But let's jump into the 3D project first. And we're going to use a different paper pattern today. This is the cute Halloween. I love this one. This has got that flirty flamingo background and look at those adorable bats, the vampire bats. We've got cute Halloween. Let me show you what these patterns look like. You've got color on one side and black and white on the other. And this one doesn't even have to be for Halloween. That'd be great for birthdays. Love the candy cane and candies these faces on here i thought we're gonna um as i said we're gonna use a different pattern but i thought this was so cute you put a smile on my face and then look at that little skeleton face too cute super fun there we go that's the paper all right so six by six and i've got my <laughs> scoreboard is on the other side of the table one minute I was doing so good, right? All right, so you can do this box in any orientation you like. For this version, actually, I brought out my version from May. I still have these because it is one of my favorite boxes, but this one is a slightly different size. The middle section is the same, but this was that um, pretty peacock specialty paper that really hard, anyways, I love the, or that really heavy cardstock. I love this box, but that is, inspiration from last year this one so this one was in landscape this one we're going to do in portrait so you just want to pay attention which way you want to turn your pattern if you're using a directional pattern of paper all right so on well this is six by six so we've got it in this direction i'm going to score 
kind of make sure I can see my measurements here. So two inches, two and three quarters, four and three quarters, and five and a half. Okay, so two, two and three quarters, four and three quarters, five and a half. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and we're gonna score this at one, two, four, and five. I'm bringing it back counterclockwise. This part is not totally necessary if you're gonna be making a lot of these and you wanna make them quickly. But if you want to do this um, triangular pattern here on the sides, you can come in and score at two and three eighths, but stop at that first horizontal score line. So two and three eighths and five and one eighth. Okay, then, so we only have to remember those two measurements. I'm gonna flip it and we're gonna do the same thing. Two and three eighths, stop at that first score line and five and one eighth. Let me bring in the template here. So it'll be easier to see. So we've done these score lines here and here, and that is, we're gonna end up cutting that section away, but that's gonna help us do our diagonal score line. So from the bottom of that short score line on the diagonal, to the next intersection of score lines, okay? All right, I'll bring the template back in a moment. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the straight score lines. So not those, I know the diagonal score lines are straight, but leave those alone for now. And only the score lines that go all the way across the paper. And of course, I forgot to share the dimensions. So the square part here is two inches by two inches by three quarters of an inch. And then these sections are an inch each, but they taper. So you can likely get something in here that's a little bit taller than two inches, but just keep in mind that it's gonna taper. Now inside mine, I've got a Reese's peanut butter cup, which love these for Halloween. I sent Brian to Target today to get some treats, and then this will fit as well, a Take 5. This is my absolute favorite candy bar. <laughs> Love Take 5s. All right, so we've done that. Let me bring this back in. We're going to go ahead and remove some sections here, and I'm actually, it's going to be easier for me to see the score lines on the back. So we've got our little half inch here on the right, and then the one inch section next to that. We want to leave the larger panels that are here closer to the right side. Now, if I flip this over, see how I did that? I'm kind of flipping it exactly the same way. I am going to come in technically three score lines. I'm counting that short one. And I'm going to cut just inside or just to the left of that score line. And then we're going to remove this whole corner. The measurements will be listed on my blog, Jane, on Friday for this treat box, along with a shortened video tutorial. For tonight's card, that will show up to the blog tomorrow. Will a gift card fit? No, it will not, because I think gift cards are, they're over two inches wide on the narrowest side, and so the and I just don't think that they will. I don't think you'd be able to get it at enough of an angle. Now Brian's pulling out something for me to try. Okay. Oh, that's a different um, box. But I don't. I think. I think it's too tall. Too. Yeah, I'm not sure a gift card will fit. But we can check in a minute. Then I'm going to come over to the other side of that big section. This time I'm cutting just to the right of the score line, and then we're going to remove this whole section here. Okay, so that's looking like this. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Now again, opposite, we're gonna keep this two inch wide section, remove the rest of it. So again, cutting just inside the score line. We're gonna remove this whole section here. The template really helps for reference, so you know what to remove. And look what I did, you guys. 
we're gonna we're gonna not do the diagonal score lines because I just removed <laughs> okay I'm gonna show you just in this one section what you would do because wow all right I think you can get the gist from the template but I essentially just bring in a ruler I love this ruler it's on my favorites page you get a pair six inch ruler and a 12 inch ruler but I like it because it does not have the cork backing so I can get it right up to the paper so you're gonna score again you want to do the diagonal scores before you cut away if you want to do that this one I'm gonna show you what you can do without having to, to do the diagonal score lines so you then just do the diagonal score lines first because that is your reference point and then then you would cut them away so I will show you the difference between the two all right so we've got it looking like this okay I'm gonna come in on this side right here and I'm going to come in and miter just on that little half inch section and then we're going to miter slightly on these. You could come in with the uh, detailed trio punch to round the corners if you like. I'm just going to come in and cut at an angle just to give it some room to tuck in. My scissors are a little gunky. I tried to clean them before. And the last thing, this is optional as well. Is to just to grab a small hole punch I've got this is a half inch hole punch or circle punch that's retired from Stampin Up but you can still find these on Amazon by EK success I'm coming in about a third of the way on this section to the left that's just a little finger notch you can put one on the bottom if you want but I just add one to the top get our mess cleaned up here so that's the template those diagonal score lines are if you want to make that a little bit more of a crisp diagonal there. I'm going to show you how to just pinch it closed with this one. Now we can put this together. I'm going to grab tear and tape. And I'm going to run that right along the score line on that half inch section here. And this is really the only adhesive that we're going to use on this box. So Tilly, I actually just get the, let's see. I just buy a box of the Curad alcohol prep pads and I probably bought this two years ago maybe. I don't go through them very often, but they're each just, you know, single uh, alcohol prep pads and I just use that to clean off the gunk. I know Goo Gone works as well and something other things like that orange oil adhesive removers but I just love the um, alcohol prep pads so that's what I use and I just wipe that along the blades very carefully so as not to cut myself but that works really well and I have actually have never had to replace a um, pair of scissors normally when they start to not cut so well it's because they're gunked up with some adhesive so that really will make them seem sharper again all right so it, uh, tear and tape right along that score line. Let me show you up close. I'm not going, it doesn't go up to the edge, but it goes right up to the score line there. Remove the backing. Then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to fold on the second score line from the left and the first score line from the right. Those are going to line right up like so. Okay. Now is when I can just put my fingers here and pinch and then you'll see it's naturally going to pinch up to that score line that we have there it's not perfect but it works so do the same thing on the other side just putting my index fingers there I've got my middle finger and thumb on those edges index fingers just pressing that in slightly and because it's designer series paper you can get it to to go in it'll be a nicer finish if you do the scoring but if you're doing these quickly that works just as well now this is the bottom right we're paying attention to the direction of the paper I am just going to gently now this is a whole inch of designer series paper but I'm going to gently tuck that in and then just it's going to slide right in to place and hold that together without any adhesive 
How cool is that? All right, let's put our treat in here. I just want to show you both fit. So that is the Reese's peanut butter cup. That fits in there perfectly. I think you can get a Reese's pumpkin as well. Those were not in our target yet. And then a Reese's take five that will also fit, okay? So then I'm gonna tuck this guy in the same way. Because it's designer series paper, you can kind of curl it just a little bit just to get it started. See that? And then if you just slightly start to pinch and press in, it goes in and holds itself closed. I love that. So cute. I'm gonna be making a bunch of these for Halloween. I already know it. I love a good six by six, six project. All right, let's do some stamping first. Let's see if I can find my... For this, we're gonna use the layering circles dies and I've got a scrap piece of Highland Heather and a scrap piece of basic white. I am using the second smallest, so that's the smallest, second smallest, and then the, I guess, I didn't realize this, but it's still cute, the third smallest, or however you want to say that, I get confused, one, two, three, from small to large, okay, and two from small to large. So we're going to die cut the Highland Heather with the scallop circle, and I'm going to stamp this is the stamp set, Cutest Halloween. We're going to stamp You Put a Smile on My Face. Which, of course, I don't know where that stamp set is. <laughs> this is what happens when you um, make the samples ahead of time. We're just going to do trick or treat for this one. How's that sound? It's, I put it somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, I tell ya. Assuming trick or treat fits. Yes, it does. That's too funny. It's somewhere around here. All right, just grabbing a clear block here. So, trick or treat. And this is the tuxedo black ink, the memento. Tuxedo back, black. I love the font in this stamp set. All right, so there's that. I'm going to take a small post-it note and line that circle up right where I want it. I'm going to use the big one so we can run this through at the same time. It wouldn't be alive without something happening, right? Yes, a whole sheet of six by six, Pam. looking for that stamp set too funny it'll turn up long after the live is over I'm sure I just thought that one was super cute all right so trick-or-treat with our scalloped circle I'm gonna go ahead and take liquid glue I had a dentist appointment last week that um, I seem to be having bad luck at the dentist, but I had a, a cavity replaced with porcelain. And so last week was my, my permanent replacement because I had a temporary for a few weeks. And the Novocaine was like, it jumped in my face. It was supposed to be on the bottom, but I was feeling all the numbness on the top part of my face to the point where I actually was not able to blink for a few minutes. <laughs> it just traveled up. So the Novocaine had a mind of its own. Let's just say I was happy to be done with that appointment. All right, so I'm just grabbing a hole punch here. We're gonna make turn this into a cute little tag. So I'm gonna punch right above trick or treat, like so. 
bringing in our little treat box and that adorable black and white gingham ribbon and help me remember here we're gonna go up underneath um wait what am i doing i'm thinking this through because i always mess myself up because i'm doing this over yeah that's right all right so i fed it through the front of the tag because i'm tying this off the spool okay my reverse tweezers i need that my third hand all right so we're gonna i've got this off the spool and we're gonna tie a bow here but i'm gonna use my reverse tweezers to hold that knot into place now you want to be a little bit gentle because this is designer series paper so it's not quite as sturdy so just be gentle when you're Tying your bow. Now we're gonna zhuzh that bow. Oh, I love this ribbon. It's really easy to work with too. Try this one, take the treat out. I don't think, it had to have to go in an angle. All right, so there is that. And then we've got these adorable, cute stars sequins that come in the suite. And I'm just gonna grab an orange one. Let's do a tiny one. And we'll just add it to the tag there. No dice. Brian tried a gift card. It does not fit, unfortunately. I do have lots of gift card projects. Yeah, on my blog at thepaperpixie.com, there's a little magnifying glass in the upper right. So if you type in gift card, you'll see all my projects that fit gift cards. All right, so that is our cute Halloween treat box. Super fun, here's the other version. I love that you put a smile on my face and someday I'll find that stamp set. <laughs> but I thought that was so cute with a little skeleton smiling next to it. So cute, quick and easy six by six treat box. Love that. This will post my blog on Friday. Let's do the quick and cute Halloween card. I'm starting with a base of the basic white thick cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it in half at five and a half. This is the valley side of the score line. I'm gonna turn that into a mountain fold and burnish with my bone folder. That's for the card base. These are the EK Tools reverse tweezers. I've got them linked on my favorites page as well at thepaperpixie.com slash favorites for the exact pair that I have. I actually have two of these, one for my husband. Well, I don't have two. We have one for my husband and one for me because those of you that participated in my shares, he did most of the ribbon, believe it or not. So he is major helper <laughs> for the product shares. I've taught him well, everybody. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's what happens after 14 years of marriage, right? You get put to work. All right, so we've got a piece of the Cute Halloween Designer Series paper. This measures three by four and a quarter. The piece of Highland Heather measures three and a quarter by four and a half. We're gonna layer those two together. I've got this cut in portrait, so we've got our booze going the right way. I almost did this back pattern because it is so cute, but then it was just a few too many ghosts <laughs> with um, doing the ghost stamp that we're doing as well. Let's see. So I'm lining that up. We're going to have about an eighth of an inch of that Highland Heather peeking from behind. And I love the contrast of the purple on the back and the black and white on the front. So this will layer right in the center of the front. You're gonna have about a half of an inch on all four sides of the basic white. There's that. 
I've got a strip of pumpkin pie and this measures one inch by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna bring in the banners pick a punch for that. And we're gonna use this punch. I'm hearing the owls. Yeah, We've got lots of owls in the background. The, they're barred owls, right? I think. So we're just gonna feed that in. One inch is the widest to fit into the tray here. And I just like to peek and make sure that that's centered. We're gonna punch that on either side. You can get a whole bunch of these out of a sheet of 12 by 12. Oh, that's so funny. He's like right outside the window. And we're going to stamp this one. I do know where this stamp is. We're going to do Hey Boo in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I do try to ink this up a little bit more because this is a felt pad versus our foam pads. There we go. I'm going to leave this out. Let's stamp the inside sentiment while we're while we've got the ink out. Then this says have a fabulous Halloween. And we're going to stamp that on the inside. If I can do that without getting ink all over my card. I'm doing this weird because the top is heavy. There we go. There's that. Oh, and I need the ink out for our uh, ghost too. Then a scrap of basic white for our ghost. This is all from that cute, cutest Halloween stamp set. We've got the outline. There's also a stamp in here to change him different colors. And I just love this little smiley face with his little hands. Look at how cute. Our little Casper the ghost. All right, bringing in the Halloween punch. We can come in and punch our little guy out. Now this will do the pumpkin, the cat, and the ghost. So cute. And this will also punch out patterns in the designer series paper. I don't think he's showing up on this one, but there are, oh yeah, here we go, this guy. So the punch will punch out um, shapes in the designer series paper. That's really cute. He's holding his little trick or treat bag. All right, so let's bring this in. I'm not going all the way to the edge because this is going to hang over the sides a bit. Great card to make multiples of to send out for Halloween. And I'm grabbing two dimensionals for our ghost. Stick him there. And then, of course, we could use the stars, but, you know, I can't resist using rhinestones, which I need to order myself more. I always run low of rhinestones and basic white. Does that happen to anybody else? So there is our Hey Boo, or, a, or our cutest Halloween Boo card, paired with our cutest Halloween, or cute Halloween, tree box. So quick and easy Halloween projects. These would be great if you're going to have trick-or-treaters, just to dress up your Reese's Peanut Butter, or Take Five, or um, I know some of you will probably do treats that folks are not allergic to, but you could put in a little bag of gummies or it's a pretty good size. Again, it is two by two by three quarters. And then you have a little bit of extra height in the tapered edge. So there is that. Let's go ahead and jump into prize patrol. Let's make sure that that's been capturing. It sure has. All right. So here's the scoop with prize patrol. If you are new, let's see to participate. You just want to add hashtag prize patrol to the comments for tonight's winnings. I've got two of the enjoy the moment stamp set. I'm only shipping with it within the U S so sorry, but hashtag prize patrol, make sure you include the hashtag 
and spell it correctly, no spaces. Explain the take five. Um, so take five, this is, what all the, this is why it's called take five. Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. So if you haven't had a take five and you're not allergic to peanuts, gotta have one. It's on your bucket list, okay? <laughs> it's so good, it's my favorite. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen here and we'll watch the um, entries coming on in. Giveaway tool, share. Add to stream, here we go. Hashtag prize patrol. I'm going to flip the camera so you see me. Let me get my post-it notes ready so I can write down our winners. All right, give you a little bit more time. Look at those entries coming on in. You'll get some extra time between choosing winner number one and winner number two. We did do a pretty quick live tonight. All right, folks, we're gonna go ahead and draw winner number one. Good luck. I love seeing your names and smiling faces. Yes, Barbara Jean, congratulations. Yay, all right, winner number two. Let's draw again. Sylvia, congratulations. All right, let me write this down. Oh, awesome, you guys. Barbara Jean and Sylvia, congratulations. All right, so to claim your prize patrol, Sylvia and Barbara Jean, you'll just want to visit the paperpixie.com slash prize patrol, and then you can submit that. I will get them in the mail to you with a handmade card from my stash, likely tonight's card. And I appreciate you all joining me live. Thanks for participating in the prize patrol. It's always fun for me. And I will be live next Wednesday for episode 206. Um, we'll demonstrate probably a card in a 3D project as well. We'll do a new suite from the mini catalog. I cannot believe that it's the middle of August. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Again, orders of $50 or more earn a free gift from me. And if you'll please use the host code on orders under $150, I would appreciate that. I will see you next Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week. Thanks for joining me. Take good care. Bye.